So with Bud Light now being the second most popular beer brand in America, the boycott will continue. And we get a little bit of a celebrity uh, chiming in on this one. Bar Rescue star John Taffer reacts to the Bud Light controversy. That's right, the dude who did Bar Rescue and tried to make bars successful when they were failing. Put in his two cents and uh, he's not wrong. He had kind of a base take on that one. So let's, let's listen to this interview a little bit connect with these brands very heavily yep. in their view the brand slapped them in the face yep. it's almost like a spouse disappointing you in some way it's emotional stores have reduced shelf no, space to the brand store. distributors haven't reduced warehouse space they've reduced order numbers this is not disappearing anytime soon no it's not all of the uh, uh, the boycott will continue and just in case you're wondering how bad it really is Budweiser knows they haven't made a single tweet since April 1st. We're going into July. So two months without a single tweet when they used to post quite a lot. Yeah, almost almost every day, a couple times a day. So they're, uh, they're full lockdown on Twitter, not doing a damn thing. But if it couldn't get any worse... Gay bar boycotts Bud Light after Anheuser-Busch abandoned queer community in Dylan Mulvaney fiasco. They jumped in. They picked a side. They found out they picked the wrong side. They got a boycott. And now the few people that would have bought their stuff aren't buying it. And I can't help but laugh. It's great. I absolutely love it. Screw Budweiser. I never even drank them in the first place. But the boycott is working. And, uh... I found this lovely little article today on pretty much the left trying to spin how this boycott is going. How a transphobic Bud Light boycott failed Governor DeSantis and made Mexico beer number one. So this whole article is nothing but cope and trying to make fun of conservatives for buying Mexican beer and they think it's a dub? I don't know. I don't get it at all. They're going to say national sales of Bud Light were down 24%. Yeah, we know that. Modelo went up 12%. This was enough to make it America's favorite beer, dethroning a Bud Light reign that lasted more than two decades. Yeah, well, they screwed that up themselves. While the boycott continues, some on the right are having second thoughts about making Mexico the nation's favorite beer. It's almost like we don't care. As long as the company shuts up and puts out a good product or a product that we like, it's almost like we don't actually care. It's almost like the only people who actually care are on the left. Mind blown. And of course, Turncoat's Fox News personality, Sean Hannity, perhaps put it best on his website. Let's be buds the end. No, we're never buds. I'm not your buddy, pal. So yeah, InBev is utterly failing. The boycott is continuing and I am laughing my ass off. So that's my little update for the week for what's going on with Bud Light. Guys, if you're still watching, I appreciate it. Make sure you drop me a like. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Make sure you're still subscribed and I will catch you guys on the next one.